Hello, this is Jimmy Blevins. Today I'm going to show you how to add a portfolio to your web page using the Divi Visual Builder. So let's add our portfolio module. And this is going to be almost identical to the filterable portfolio. And once again, this is going to pull from your projects. So if you, if you pull up this module and you notice there's nothing populating in it, um, you might need to go in and add a few projects. So this is if you were a photographer, web designer, you wanted to show off some pictures or some web pages that you've done, this would be the module that you'd want to use for that. So I prefer the grid layout because it puts everything in a nice grid and people can click on it for more information. Um, but let's say I made a portfolio page and I just wanted to highlight one certain aspect. So let's say my puppy photography. So that pops all those up. And let's say I didn't want this fifth one down here, so I'm going to drop this down to four. So if I put the post number on four, it only does four across. And then if I want to see the other ones, I can click on the link and it'll take me to the page to do that. So here in the design elements, I can show the title, the categories, or the pagination if I want to. Pagination, of course, is these links down here for older and newer entries. So getting into the design, um, once again, I've got my zoom icon color and the hover overlay. And if I mouse over one of these images, we can change um, how this shows up. So if I wanted to do, say, like a really light purple overlay with a purple icon, that's what that looks like. Um, I can also change the icon for the hover. And then here's where I can mess with the title font, size, title text color, letter spacing, line height. The meta font size color, this is for any information that's down here. So if I want to bump up my meta font size, just a couple pixels, that's where I would do that. Now the background color, this is an option. I'm not sure if they're working on it. Um, but one of the things about this is it only does the area for the actual portfolio item. So to show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to make this this blue color so you can see. We'll just make it transparent enough. So unfortunately, it doesn't put a padding around here. So if you want a padding on that, um, you'll have to define that in your custom style sheets and your Divi theme options. Um, you can't do that here in this CSS. It doesn't do the style sheet for these exact elements. So if you want to put a border around the elements, I'll show you it does the same thing. But what you can do is this. If we come in here to our CSS. Say I want my picture to fill up the whole image, but I just want some padding, a little bit of padding on the side. With the meta and the title. So I can just add some custom CSS in here. And then that'll give me a little bit more space to, to work with while the image still takes up the full width of my element. So that just goes over some of the design features for the portfolio module in the Divi Visual Builder. Thanks again for watching, and my name is Jimmy Blevins.